Hi guys, we're going to be going around asking people who their favorite teacher is at RMHS. Let's go! Alright, so I'm here with... Hannah. Alright, Hannah. Who's your favorite teacher at RMHS? Mr. Daly. Alright, and why is he your favorite teacher? Because he just cares about everyone. Like, doesn't matter if you do drama or sports, he's there to support you. And how can other teachers improve to reach his level? Not having bias about which clubs kids do. Thank you so much, Hannah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here with... Ryan. Alright, Ryan, who's your favorite teacher at RMHS? My favorite teacher is Mr. Barbaro. And why do you like him so much? I think he's just so expressive with his students and he's so accepting and he wants all the students to feel comfortable in the classroom and not let their grades define them. And what could other teachers do to live up to Mr. Broken Rope? Um, I, like um, Hannah was saying, I think they, um, they can cut out bias and they can also just like understand that a student is in the learning process. All right, thank you so much. Hello, we're here with Lindsay. Lindsay, who is your favorite teacher at RMHS? Uh, one of my favorite teachers is Miss Bailey. I like her because she keeps the class interesting and fun. That is such a good answer. How can other teachers achieve the greatness of Miss Bailey? Um, maybe coming up with new ways to teach class and new ideas instead of sticking to the old curriculum way of things. That's a great answer. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Yeah, you're welcome. Hi, so I'm here with... Bridget Hackett. All right, so who is your favorite teacher? Senor Benagi. And why do you like him? Um, he's my favorite teacher because the class is really fun and he's fun. <laughs> and how can other teachers reach his level? Um, like make the class more relaxed but at the same time do a lot of work. All right, thank you. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with... Elizabeth Powers. Okay, Elizabeth Powers, who is your favorite teacher at RMHS? Mrs. Shea and Mrs. Lynch. And why do you like them so much? They're really nice and fun, and they talk to me about stuff that just isn't, like, isn't just school. I love that. Now, how can other teachers reach their level? Um, just talk to your students, be nice and understanding with them. Don't make everything like it's life or death because kids are stressed out enough. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, I'm here with Alyssa. So Alyssa, who was your favorite teacher in RMHS? Miss Lombardo. And what do you like about Miss Lombardo? She really lets us be ourselves and share our opinions in class. That is awesome. How can other teachers attain this greatness? Really just be more engaged with their students. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm here with Miss Lombardo, and Miss Lombardo, you were voted as a favorite teacher. How does that make you feel? I'm very honored um, and very happy. I mean, it's always good to feel appreciated in, uh, in a job where you don't always feel that way, um, and it's a difficult job, but I appreciate that some people appreciate me, so I'm very happy to hear that. And what do you think other teachers can do to reach your level? <laughs> um, I think that we have great teachers at RMHS, and I feel like um, all of our teachers are great in different ways and um, definitely have their own personalities and their own styles of teaching, and um, I think that I don't think that there's anything that teachers need to do. I think they're already awesome um, because, again, we, we do a difficult job and we do it well. And and so I don't I don't have advice. I just say, great job, everybody. We are we are educating the youth of America. All right, thank you. <laughs> Hello there, you Hello there. Um, what is your name? My name's Chloe. Hi, Chloe. So nice to meet you. Um, we were wondering, who is your favorite teacher in RMHS? My favorite teacher in all of RMHS would have to be Mr. De Benedictus. Good choice. Uh, now, what do you like about Mr. De Benedictus? He is a really animated teacher. He really cares about what he's teaching us, and he makes it super interesting. You know, acts some stuff out. Makes yeah. it really, really riveting. Now, what can other teachers do to reach his level? 
Um, I think it's important that teachers care about you know what they're teaching because otherwise it's not interesting. So if they don't like their jobs, they should get out. <laughs> you heard it here. Now thank you, Chloe. So welcome. Thank you. So I'm here with Mr. De Benedictus, and he has been voted as someone's favorite teacher. Now, how does that make you feel? That makes me feel good, Kevin. <laughs> wow. And what do you think other teachers can do to live up to your standards of being an excellent teacher? Well, I was voted by one person. That person could be crazy. So I don't know if I want to give advice on that. Um, I mean, it could have been Katie Delaney. And she's a little crazy. But I would just say... Do your job, treat everybody fairly, and um, care about what you do. All right, thank you.